Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and another video. Um, this one isn't a battery, it's actually a smart battery box that I've purchased from Amazon. I've just received it about 15 minutes ago. It came nicely packaged and here it is. If I can bring that across, I've actually put a battery in it. Um, it's a good size unit. You have your positive, negative terminals with these plastic, with the metal inset wing nuts. It's got USB charging port on the side here, which is a slow charge, say, I think it's five, five volts. It has a 12 volt outlet on the other side, so you can plug in your 12 volt, whatever it is you want. It has fusing, it has 10 amp on the 12 volt outlet and the USB, and 60 amp on the main terminals. Um, I bought this because I was going to be building one, but I wasn't well and spent too much time on Amazon and I was buying all the different parts to basically make my own unit. This one even has a voltage meter and it's just a case of press and hold the button and it shows you the status of your battery. It's, it's only blinking there because it's turned itself off. Before you use the USB you also have to press this just to waken the USB port up. I'll show you inside. I just threw a 100 amp battery inside it. You can see everything's well protected there. With this casing, all your wiring, it's all tidy. You just have two connections to make. Um, let's say everything's rated very well, 60 amp fuse, it's a good size box, it even comes with an instruction manual which tells you, you know, for example, with the battery status monitor, it will keep flashing when you're using the USB port, that's only to let you know that the USB port is active, um, it will hold just about any battery that will meet these dimensions. Um, eight three quarter inches high, seven three eighths wide, and thirteen three eighths long. So it would hold uh, even the I believe it would hold the other big battery. It's just a quick look inside. Um, obviously you would need to add some packing if you're using a smaller battery or you could use it for individual cells if you want to build you know, a battery yourself. It will hold quite a few cells. Um, the Ultramax battery, the, the heavy one, it's the right dimensions it would fit. Um, here's your fuses here. So it's got the built-in breakers. You can just reset them if they trip. Um, yeah, handy little unit. It's got a good strong handle. Everything's well put together. And it saves you hunting around trying to find a suitable battery box. That's the eco-worthy 100 amp battery that's in there. So there's lots of room, lots of space left over. Um, just add your own packing there if you have to. Um, but yeah, it's a nice versatile unit. You can just even connect some, you know, an Anderson connector, a couple of leads to the terminals, because it does have 60 amp breaker built into it. Um, so yeah, ideal if you're just needing something portable, whether you're going fishing or camping, whatever it is, this is pretty good for for those things. Let's say 12 volt USB charger, 
on the side and I see no reason why you couldn't add to this if you wanted to, if you wanted to adapt it, which I probably will end up doing. Um, I may put some uh, solar connectors on the side here and use it for charging the battery as well using the solar panels outside. So yeah, just uh, I'll put a link below for it. It's uh, yeah, a good thing to have, saves you a lot of hassle.